Hey everyone, Lane and Brian with Rucklist. Today I'm really excited that we are going to be going over the brand new Kafaru arc frame. In fact, this pack doesn't even go on sale until tomorrow night at 8 p.m. 8 a.m. after you're at the Western Hunt Expo. So the fact that we have it before it's even out to play with it, just a very first impression on it, I absolutely love it. The first thing I noticed is how ridiculously light it is. I actually picked up the box when it was at my front door and I thought maybe they forgot to send it to me. <laughs> I thought maybe they sent me a new pack or a new uh, bag or something because it was just so light it's a solid carbon fiber piece on the back i know they put a ton of time into this and i'm really excited to be playing with it but the first thing i noticed is it's just it is stout i'm not gonna when this is on my back and the first thing you did is like yeah. try to like grab it and like bend it and <laughs> oh yeah and it's you can't awesome believe it. it's so light you're like this thing's just gonna you know what I mean? And it's yeah, not. Once you just, once you get your hands on it. Man. And I like how it allows a little bit of this. I, I like from you and my shoulders and my hips can kind of pivot a little bit. Yep. That's really nice. You know, your old school, like really hard metal frame doesn't do that um, here. But then what they've added from the old frame, um, you know, for mine is, is these little cross members in here. And even this big beefy here, um, I would have when I was going really heavy, I had a couple times with two rear quarters and just having that thing kind of like curl up around just you. Just a little just bit. Feel it a little bit. And this is just... This isn't going anywhere, man. And it's going to be super breathable. There's yeah, a lot of yeah, spots absolutely. for air to be moving through your back just on this here. Just we had this before, but just for, uh, you know, I'm at 280 pounds kind of on the daily, and you're about 190-ish, 195. Yeah. And so for us both to be able to rock this same, of course, I'll be having a different size weight, a uh, different size belt here. Yep. Right. Um, what, yeah, this is, is the, this? this is the medium belt. That's yeah. another thing to like really talk about on here that I like right off the bat. They've changed the foam that's in this back pad. Um, it's going to be able to take a lot more just abuse and yeah. it's going to fit to your back when you're hiking, but then it's going to rebound right away. It's not going to have that memory built in. So it's going to last a lot longer. Going to the next yeah. thing, these this hip belt is just awesome. The, the, it's wider. Yeah, they're they're wider and it's lighter, but it's a really awesome foam you that you can feel in here? there. This is not not a molly, but yeah, it's it's almost a, it's molly, a molly, right? Yeah, so I, you I can like be attaching different so stuff to it. On here too. Yes, this is sick. I mean, my water bottle lives on this side, extra pouch on this side, but dude, this is. I can attach so many pouches to this. I'm gonna have my water bottle pouch on here. I always keep that on my right side. But if I wanted to mount my pistol on here now too, this mm -hmm. is a medium. I have room for both if I really yeah. wanted to. And then I have all kinds of stuff I can mount over here. Getting into the actual buckle itself, something that you pointed out that I hadn't really thought about was that they've added. This, this little, little loop, loop. Yeah. yeah so when sick. you're fully extended and that then happens to me a lot that you're 280 pounds plays in there a little even bit. with the large waist belt big waist belt but if i have multiple layers right so i'll hunt early fall i got a t-shirt on and then coming in like late rifle season i got three or four layers on so I, this has to and it does adjust for me but then when you go big and wide on the old belt you couldn't get a hold of this thing. So now having this here, especially when like- Yeah, you can you get, get your, your fingers, fingers in there. You know what I mean? Yes. You can get a big finger in here- And just pull, pull it tight, tight and, all and the just way. really cinch that thing down. Yeah. So it's nice, because this allows for a little, like I said, if it's cold, I just find so many times I can't even feel my hand, you know what I mean? Yeah, and now hands. you can at least get in there and get I it get going. Get in there and just give it a good rip. So I think I just, this support here, man. Oh, they did the same thing up here. So yes. I'm, yeah, this is nice. I'm really excited about it. One of the questions that I've gotten from people already is how is this going to work with the old systems? I was using the duplex light 26 inch frame. Yep. This is a 25 inch frame. The packs are interchangeable. They're going to work, which is really awesome. It's something they thought of. So you're not buying a brand new system to get into the arc frame. Right. You can buy the arc frame and use your old bags on it. I'm going to actually throw my mod deuce on there and we're going to see how it goes from there. And we're just going to yeah. play with it. Yeah. I absolutely love this, man. I'm just, just absolutely a beast, man. And that's, that's, I've broken one of every frame. You wouldn't believe me, but I, it just stuff breaks and I just, I'm excited to put this on and just roll it. It's, I think it was funny. I walked into the office this morning. I handed it over to Brian, just like this. Cause like this is how light it is. I got a finger. If you could see what I'm holding, handed to him like this. He picked it up. He reached in his pocket and just threw his wallet at me and he goes, all right, bye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I can't wait. It's one of those where somebody brings something into the office here and you just go, that just cost me, you know, whatever it is. How much is this? This is $500 retail, which really? is awesome. And I mean, for what you're getting, it's, it's one thing I didn't cover on it. Everything on this is 100% made in the USA. Yeah. The, the carbon fiber is made in the USA. They source everything in the USA. Yeah. It's really awesome. And nothing against the other companies that outsource from somewhere else. I love being able to wear a pack and tell people, hey, yeah. not only was this started in my home state, 
Um, now, or well, the state where I live in. Now it's made in the state I was born in, Wyoming. Absolutely love that aspect yeah. of it. That's just a small personal side. But the fact that I can tell people this is 100% made in the USA is really awesome. And the warranty is bar none. Um, I've had silly things happen with my Kafaro stuff and uh, they, yeah. other companies wouldn't warranty what I had warranty. I can tell you that. Not that I'm going to promise that, but yeah. it's, they are just so awesome when you deal with their customer service. You call over there, you're speaking to a human being, which is amazing. Um, I love it. And I love that we can use our old packs, man. Like yeah. I hate having to look in and go, I sure do it, but man, I don't want to go another thousand dollars in. Yeah. I don't want to spend like, $500 on this and then $300 on a bag yeah. and then pack every, add everything else to it. Like you said, by the time you're done, you're a thousand bucks in. Whereas this, you're just yeah. buying this, you're putting your old bag on it. You're still rocking your favorite bag. Although they got some new bags that they're releasing this I weekend know. that it's like, Oh man, I'm just going to be pulling my wallet. Out. My wife's right, going right, to hate right, me. Right, right, so, yeah. but at least you can start here, get the comfort. Cause you know how it is, man. When you're, when I, you know, where I, I hunt, I'm typically at the low end eight miles back in there. Yep. And it's like, like, you know, I look at the, this is, this is, we were talking about if you only had so much money, what are the two things you'd spend your money on? And it's boots and your, and your frame. A hundred percent. Really. Right. And, and even the pack itself is not as important as what this is, what's, what's touching you. Yes. And it's like, you know, eight, 10, 12 miles in, you'd give your, you know what to, oh yeah to have a good frame on your back. And, and cause it just so matters, man. It's just like your back and your feet. Right. And so like, I, I'm so excited. Well, I tell you, this is costing me money. I'll tell you that right now. Cause as soon as my wife picked it up, <laughs> yeah. she was like, you're, you're going to get me one of those. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. Valentine's day check. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, no, I'm excited sick. about so, it. We're going to throw the Ma deuce on it. I'm going to mess around with it. We'll have a little bit of a, like some B roll of me running around playing with it. Maybe right. Brian and Colin, and we're going to be getting this out. So this is sweet. So yeah. Awesome. Get on there and get one guys. Just got the duplex light frame off and uh, just read. There is a, there's a noticeable difference in the weight here when I'm just holding it. It is, uh, I'm really excited to see how this mounts to it and see how much easier it's gonna be when it mounts. But this runs up into here. And I'm putting that right over this right off the get-go. One of the new features on this pack that I really like is the way this load lifter attaches to the pack itself. Instead of doing the old school twist ones like this was, it's actually, it clips open and I'm gonna run this through and it's gonna attach that way, which should be a lot easier than trying to sit here and twist that old, get it on there twisted, and then just push it in and bam, I'm attached just like that. So same thing on this side, I'm gonna put a finger through here, get it a little bit, open it up to get it in. Bam, so that's on there, right there. Now I just gotta go through and attach the sides and the bottom. That's mounted right there. This is going to come through on here. The only thing you got to do to attach one of your older bags to the new arc frame is to attach these onto the arc frame where it's going to match up with your old straps. So you can see there's a lot of options on the arc frame for where to put it. And all you do come up through the bottom, pull that strap tight, and then put this on with the buckle. It's going to hold it in place. And now I'm going to attach that buckle to my pack.
I'm just gonna go along the pack and do the exact same thing all the way up. Now that we got everything set up on the pack, let's put some weight in it and see how it works. Oh, I think 60 pounds is gonna be a great tester. You have to excuse me, I already worked out today. We have 110 pound over there that I'm gonna put in here at some point. Not today. All right, initial feeling. Oh yeah, get that tight right there, those load lifters. I, I love these. This waist strap is awesome with the way that it's sitting. Man, it is right in the center of my hips. Might be able to adjust that a little bit. I haven't fitted this whole pack out to me completely yet, but it feels, I got 60 pounds on my back and it is, this is nice. Let's go play with it. Initial thoughts on this arc frame after I put my old mod deuce bag on it and a little bit of weight. I'm loving it. I can't wait to get into the woods and actually be testing it out. But initially, this thing is awesome. I'm loving it. Everything from the new belt, the new padding, just the whole frame itself. I'm actually, I'm absolutely loving it.